Yesterday, I talked about keeping up appearances. I want to continue on that theme, but broaden it some. This is about walking the talk of your life, literally living your spiritual beliefs. It says in Galatians 5, verse 25, if we live in the Spirit, let us also walk in the Spirit. Walking the talk. That's what we have to do as spiritual people. It's never, never, never enough to simply hear God's instructions. We must also live them. It is the very meaning of the word religion. If you go back to the original Christianity form, it means uh, uh, living our life in that way. Not just a a practice for a set period of time. It is a way of life. You believe the words of God, and we have to live the words of God. We have to walk in the way of the words of God. Does your behavior match your beliefs? Today, don't treat your faith as if it were separate from your everyday life. Weave, literally weave your beliefs into your daily walk, into the very fabric of your day. Make every encounter an opportunity for you to serve. Make every word an effort to to uplift, to encourage family and friends and even strangers. When you do, God will honor your good works, and your good works will honor God. Don't be afraid to stand up for your beliefs, and remember this. In the battle of vice versus virtue, the opposition never takes a day off, but neither does God. So we need to rise above our former selves and, and walk the talk. And when we do, we find that we're living in heaven instead of a hellish state. And we find that God will comfort. And we find that God will strengthen. And we will be literally living out God's instructions for a faithful life. It has been said we must, without apology, without fear, without ceasing, preach and practice our beliefs, carrying them out. Well, a good sermon, the best sermon, is watching a spiritual person live their everyday life. And that is what you are to give out to others. They'll see something in you, and they'll want it for themselves. That's the way we convert people. We don't do it by knocking on their door and trying to convince them to accept a certain doctrine. We are living the doctrine of the highness of God, the very best of God in the very best of us. We carry the best thoughts in mind. And therefore, we carry health in our body and energy and a willingness and a wanting to help others and always say a kind word and to spread joy wherever we are. That's the godly life, and it leads to heaven on earth, our earth.